Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over the Eonon GMA12S head unit for my 2008 Chevrolet Tahoe. Eonon was nice enough to send me over this unit for a complete non-biased review and install. So in the box we have the manual, the wires and all that fun stuff. And finally, the head unit itself. And it should be able to be installed into any GMT900 truck. I already have an Eonon head unit in my Tahoe, the Eonon Q80 Pro, and it is a fantastic unit, but Eonon just wanted me to go over their updated version of it. And at initial glance, they look to be identical. As you will see, this is a huge update in hardware. And big update is that this is using the Snapdragon 665 operating on Android 12, running a Cairo 260 CPU, an Andrino 610 GPU running at eight cars. And there's more features which I'll talk about as we go along the video. Whether you have the stock head unit or an aftermarket one, installing the new unit should be nearly identical. So first things first, we need a panel trim remover and we will be removing this trim right here. Let's go ahead and start on top. Wedge right in there until you hear a pop. To the side, come right here, you hear another pop on going. Now I can peel this off. Now put this to the side, seven millimeter bolts, four on this side and four on this side. Pull this out, let that dangle. You will not be doing anything with these. Now the unit will pull right out. Now the stock unit will not have a lot of this. It will have these plugs right here. So let's go ahead and plug these plugs. We'll have this plug. You will need to undo in the antenna, just like that. You can undo this as well. That should be finger tightened. Now this should all pull right out. So here's both the units. This is the old unit right here and the new unit. The plugs seem to be nearly identical. Same with the power, except it's a 15 amp instead of a 10 amp fuse right here. We do have an HDMI input, which is new to the new unit. This also has 4G capabilities. And you can also install a SIM card. This bag of wires might seem kind of intimidating, but it's really not that bad. I'll try my best to break it down for you. This is a GPS module, microphone, USB, antenna, backup camera, canvas, and the rat's nest, which we will be starting with this. This is the GPS and another USB. So we are now back here. Stock antenna, stock plugs. Grab your rat's nest. Let's just focus on the plugs that we need to plug in for right now. These plugs will only plug in one way. This can only be plugged in here and it will not plug into this one. So you cannot get this wrong, it's fairly simple. There you go. The other black plug will go right here, bam. And let's go ahead and start plugging everything in to our new unit. Let's start with the power plug, which would be plugged in right here. Ta-da. The backup camera, we plugged in this far side, our amplifier and audio right in the middle. Pretty easy so far. These can also only be plugged in one way. See our subwoofer plugins. This is also where you plug in your SIM card if you wanted to install a SIM card. Let's go ahead and grab our backup camera. It will say backup camera input. Plug this in. It has this mic installed into this unit. I already have my mic installed right back here. So I'm just gonna grab that wire and plug it in. It's nice that that's interchangeable. Installed it right back there. And it just has this adhesive on the back. So it has this USB wire, but as you can see, it's interchangeable to the USB I already have installed. I have it routed down there, coming out down here. Plug in the USB, it should be right here. If you were to install the 4G connections, you will want to install these, there's two of them. I already installed the GPS, and that is routed all the way up here. So I'm just gonna remove this, grab my GPS wire, and plug it in. Then we have another plug that has two USBs. These two USBs alone is also an upgrade. This other USB that I already have installed in the Tahoe is connected to my front dash cam. So this is nice to see. I'm gonna have them both go that way. I stuck them through that little hole right there and they come out right here. Plug the antenna in. Now let's plug it into the head unit. Now let's set it into place and see if it turns on. Oops, maybe I should turn this around. There you go, take this off. Let's see if it turns on. This looks so much nicer, my goodness. Let's see if I can connect to my phone. Let's connect the device, Bluetooth. Go to your settings on your phone. Eonon on the bottom. Pin is 0000. zero, zero, zero. One, two, two, three, four. Pair, connected. Let's go to CarPlay and see if it works. Nice, ignore that. Let's play some music. Seem to not be harmed by silent risk. That's the idea. The first thing is don't be harmed. Let's make sure these are also working, the keys on the Tahoe, so. I think it's, when you talk about betting on a tail event. As you can see, they are working. Let's go ahead and button up everything. 
Put all these wires back here. Let's shove them all up in, all up in there. This goes right there. Uh huh. What's up? There you go. And now let's put this back into place. There you go. And there you go. This dash is made of cheap plastic, so be sure not to over tighten these. And now put this right back on, and we're gonna go. We are golden almost. Shove that back in. Yeah, this screen is a huge update. That looks a lot better from the last unit. That's because this is a QLED screen compared to the 1080p on the other unit. It might not show up on camera, but this looks really clean. So as you can see, let's turn off the car. Turn it back on. And it's automatically gonna to connect to my phone. That is also faster compared to the other unit. So we have the radio, if you have the SIM card and these installed, you just go to navigation and you can navigate anywhere you need to go and just type it in just like this. However, I do not have that installed. We could have ever connected Wi-Fi, but to connect to Wi-Fi, we do need to disconnect our Bluetooth. We're now connected to my Wi-Fi so we can navigate to wherever we want to go to. There you go. Let's go to Egypt and go to Google, YouTube. Does TikTok come up first before YouTube. I don't, that doesn't make any sense. And there's me. That's my channel. And that is the old head unit right there. Talk tick. Talk tick is everywhere. Not be right here in the front page. So just have a plus Anyways, right just go home. You can also use Google Maps or Chrome. Got a calculator for whatever reason. You can change the amplifier tunes, calendar. That is the wrong date, so I need to change that. To make sure that camera works, we need to go to Fire Browser. USB, scroll down, find DVR APK. That's gonna download it, let's press continue, install, done, and go home. And now the app will be placed right there. Now from the source, suck in, okay. Now here's the front dash cam right there. Now it will always record. I'll link the video to that dash cam down below for your convenience. I think it's definitely a cheap thing to add for a lot of sense of security. You can also get this, this is an OBD2 scanner. Put your plug in right below your dash right here. Okay, now we can go to settings here, go on Bluetooth, it's refreshed, we go to OBD2, press yes and pair, we are now connected to the OBD2, go home, and go here, OBD2, we need to go to settings, go to vehicle profile, in your profile, Tahoe, next, you don't need to do all of this, I'm just doing it. Now we can go on fault codes, scan, have no faults because take care of my Tahoe, uh, information, the Tahoe just so you can see, corner is 53 degrees. You can see all the real time stuff. We can change our themes. It's a cool theme. I kind of like that theme right there. That's too much for me. Let's go back to this one and let's set it. Set launcher. We also got Netflix, which is kind of cool. Screen mirroring. We can do USB screen mirroring, which would be optimal, but let's do wireless. iPhone, Wi Fi settings. Either connect this to your hotspot or we're just going to use the Wi Fi we're currently on. Screen mirroring right there. Go on YouTube. My phone is black too, not sure why. It does that sometimes. And it stopped mirroring. Nearly all wireless phone mirroring will have that audio delay, so I wouldn't be too worried. If you don't want that delay, then go ahead and plug it in via USB. I personally have never used the screen mirroring function. I just don't have a use for it. So let's go to the settings. So let's go to the car. Apple CarPlay, all that stuff is enabled. We go to LED settings. We can change the colors of these. Go all red, go all whatever color you want. I kind of dig that color. These lights turn off because my car is not turned over. We can go on apps, on all apps. Let's say we want to reboot Netflix. We can first stop. Okay, sounds. Let's go ahead and turn off this noise. That is so freaking annoying. Display, change the font size, brightness levels, all that fun stuff. You can add touch assist right there. I'm just gonna turn that off because I don't really need it. And this is where we're gonna change our time. It is the eighth, it is one, it is one seventeen. And finally, if we want to download apps, we can go to Play Store and sign in. All right, we're all signed in. Huge TikTok logo. Team U, Team U, come on Team U. Let's go to games, Let's do Roblox. I have no idea what Roblox is. Play, sign up I guess. Username, Big Papa. Okay, taking Big Daddy. Oh, this isn't appropriate for Roblox? What the heck? But Big Papa is. Sign up. Start puzzle. Okay. Used arrows. What does it want me to do here? I don't know what this means. It has two of those brushes. Two. I need the puzzle again. Come on. I've already done this. What the? F what are you wanting from me? 
Finally, a game, no issues. Toctic is so annoying. Continue to the app. I don't want to do this. I just want to play the game. I feel like I lost brain cells playing that game. And it also has backup camera. But it has all those lines, which I want to get rid of. So let's go into settings. Let's go to car, extra settings, reverse trajectory display. Let's turn that off. Rear view ruler, off. Now you only have that line. If you're interested in this head unit, I'll link it down below for your convenience. I'll also link the old head unit down below as well if you're interested. It is a bit cheaper. And I'll go ahead and post all the videos on how to install the front camera, the backup camera, and all that fun stuff down below for your convenience. And using these links will also really help out this channel and I really appreciate it. This is Chris. I always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you next time.